friends and viewers please first of all subscribe to my channel let you know my new videos in this video i will uh, talk about listening part of toefl ibt exam listening part section functionally and special features beginning in the listening section and continuing through the writing section you wear headphones that have a special microphone for speaking you have the opportunity to set the volume before the test resumes. After the section begins, a volume button at the top of the screen can be used to change the volume at any time. You use the next button at the top of the screen to move through the listening section. On choosing an answer for a question, you must click next to proceed the next question and you also must confirm each answer choice as your final answer. Before you uh, finalize your answer, you can change your selection, but once you confirm your answer, the next question begins right away. It's not possible to return to any question in the listening section. While conversations and lectures play, photos of people in academic settings appear on the screen. These photos uh, are sometimes helpful in providing very limited context to the conversation or lecture. For example, the photo for a conversation between a student and a librarian may show two people in a library with one of them, the librarian uh, seated behind a reference desk. This offers a small clue to the location of the conversation. However, the photos don't offer any detailed information that is directly relevant to answering in the questions. Therefore, don't study photos, focus on listening instance. instead. After a conversation or lecture has finished, questions appear on the screen one at a time. Each question is spoken by a narrator as it appears on the screen, though answer choices are not. If you listening section question types, require listening again to an expert from the conversation or lecture. In these cases, the narrator mentions that you must listen to an expert and sign appears on the screen as the expert plays. A help button in all sections uh, takes you to do a list of topics for which valuable explanations are available. However, with the help of this book, uh, Kaplan's book, you should be familiar enough with the test that you won't need to use the help function. Use CD rooms 1 and 2 to get a better understanding of how the conversations and lectures play. Listening passages. The listening uh, section of the TOEFL measures the ability to understand English as it's spoken in North American academic settings. The section contains two conversations between two people, each followed by five questions. Two lectures with student comments and questions, each followed by six questions. Two straight lectures, each followed by six questions. The conversations are generally between a student and a professor or other university staff member, such as librarian, counselor, administrative assistant in a university office, and so on. The conversations are often a problem resolution type, where the student needs assistance from the other person and must explain his or her needs in an attempt to obtain the desired assistance and the other person attempts to assist the student. The conversations average to an a half minutes or more. The lectures are on a range of topics covering history, art, business, science and social science. The lecturers don't assume specialized um, knowledge in any file, nor do they assign detailed knowledge of the United States culture, government, history and so on. However, a basic introductory level understanding of a variety of files will make the lectures much easier to follow. Lectures air for five to five minutes. Markers of authentic speech uh, such as pauses, digressions, interruptions, hesitations, fast starts. I am not 
for example. I don't really know the answer to that question. I didn't. And colloquial language, the scientists were sort of surprised by the results are evident on both conversations and lectures. Listening questions. There are eight different question types of on TOEFL IBT. Listening section. You can accept to find most or all these question types on the lectures, but only three or four of them on the conversations. Like the reading section questions, listening questions can be divided on into three general categories according to what each is testing, understanding of language use, basing comprehension, the ability to listen to learn. Following is an overview of the question types you will find in the listening section of the TOEFL. The number of each type per test is an explanation since the number on the actual tests may vary. Language use. Rectangle function, speaker to listener, 3 or 2, 5 per test. Rhetorical structure, test support, 5 or 6 per test. Basic comprehension. Main idea questions, lectures only, 4 per test. Purpose questions, 3 to 5 per test. Detailed questions, 12 to uh, 14 per test. Inference questions 3 to 5 per test. Listening to uh, learn. Content relationship uh, questions, lectures only 2 per test. For most of the language use questions, you will hear an expert that is a reputed person from the conversation or lecture. The expert contains a word, explanation or comment that is the focus of the question. Often the often the per, per uh, Interpretation of the expert demands on the intonation and exact word choice of the speaker. Therefore, you should listen carefully to these experts and you should also think back to the broader context of the conversation or lecture as you hear the expert. The strategies in this book, uh, I mean Kaplan's book, will make that clearer once you re review uh, them later. All listening section questions are for option multiply choice, with the exception of content uh, relationship questions. This question type comes into two formats, both of which present five options. In the first format, you must uh, choose the three correct uh, answers from the five choices. In the second format, you must click yes or no for each of the five options. In addition, one or two of the detailed questions on lectures may ask you to choose to correct answers out of four options. Use the practice test CD room to get uh, a better understanding and how the questions appear on the screen in listening section of the test. Yes, dear uh, viewers, uh, in this video I try to uh, talk and let you know about uh, TOEFL uh, listening part. Uh, language use, rhetorical function, speaker to listener, 3 to 5 per test. Rhetorical structure, test uh, support, 5 or 6 per test. Basic comprehension, main idea questions, lectures only, 4 per test. Purpose question, 3 to 5 per test. Detail question 12 to 14 per test. Inference question 3 to 5 per test. Uh, you can uh, listen film uh, screens to improve your listening. Also, uh, you can make friends, uh, foreign friends uh, who know English uh, of uh, their. Uh, native language, you can talk to them uh, to improve your listening, especially. If you uh, make friends, foreign friends, uh, please, especially uh, you don't speak, uh, you try to, you should uh, try to listen them to improve your listening. Yes. Thank you very much for watching me. Please subscribe to my channel. Let you know my new videos. Let's see another video, dear friends.